Welcome to Tech with VP, your problem, our solution. Today we are tackling a fantastic topic, setting up GitLab CI/CD for automating your Django application deployment. If you are new to hosting Django on EC2, check out our tutorials in the description or at the top right corner you will find the link of that tutorial. Stick around until the end because we also cover configuring CI/CD with GitLab Runner, writing a GitLab CI.yaml file and more in the upcoming videos. I'm damn sure you don't want to miss any of this. So without wasting our time, let's get started. But wait, this is not just one video. We have divided this into easy to follow parts. So let me quickly outline what we will do and what you guys gonna achieve after this video. So uh, firstly, we will uh, setting up a project on GitLab from scratch. So if you guys don't know how to set up projects on GitLab, uh, it will be covered in this video. So after that, uh, we will create two branches. One is dev, which is for development server. Second one is master for production server. The dev branch automates updates on the development server via CI CD. The master branch does the same for the production server. And we will also show you how to manage permissions and protect these branches in GitLab. So here, as you can see, I have logged into my GitLab account and you can log into your GitLab account and I will show you some steps which you can follow along with me. So step number one, creating a blank project in GitLab. So for that, you have to click on this new project button. And here you will see a couple of steps and from that uh, you can select uh, based fits your uh, requirements. But for this video, we are going to use create blank project. Here you have to give your project name. So in our case, demo dash ec2 dash cicd. And here you can select your user. So you can select your main user. In my case, I have created some groups, but we are going to select user. Then this will be your slug, which means it will be visible in the URL section. And I will show you after the creation of this project. Project deployment target, you can select any. This is just a, a optional thing uh, you can select or you can avoid it. Visibility level. So are this project is going to be publicly available or not. So in our case, it is a private project. So we will make it private. And you can initialize with a readme file or without readme file. So we don't need require any readme file because we'll create our own. So we are going to skip it. And after that, you can create click on this create project. You can see uh, projects it has been created successfully and here which I mentioned that you will see the slug here. So it's your gitlab.com, your username and then your project slug. So now we have successfully created our project. So now we will move on to the step number two, attaching this project to your local code. Step number two, upload your local code to this newly created repository. So for that, we have to add origin into our code. So what we'll do, we'll uh, copy this uh, project URL and we'll open our project directory. So here, let me show you git remote dash v. Uh, I'm assuming that you are a basic git, git user and you know how to log into your git and everything. If you don't know, you can check out on the internet. It is available everywhere. So here we have three, uh, two origin already. One is GitHub and one is already my previous project. So which I show you in the deployment stage. But for uh, this video, we are going to do it, do it this from scratch. So we'll add origin. So for that, you have to uh, write this command, git remote add origin. And you have to paste the link which we have copied from here. Make sure you copy this URL as a clone the HTTPS and add this. And now git remote dash v and here you can see we have added our origin successfully and and yes you can push this code to your repository so for that git push origin master so right now we don't have any master branch but it will create one master branch for us so we have pushed this code to the master and now if we refresh the project you can see the master branch has been created so master is our default branch. So we'll consider this branch as our production. So we have successfully uploaded our code to the GitLab repository. Now third step, branch management and permission. So as you can see, we have pushed to the master branch. So our production branch is already set up and here you can see the default branch. But 
as i mentioned that we are going to create two branches one is dev which is for development and second one master for the production so for that uh, come to the code section and here you will see the branches here we have one branch master default and protected uh one branch which is default as well as protected so now we'll create one branch from the master so let's click on this new branch branch name dev create from so definitely we are going to create it from master and we can click on this create branch so now we have two branches dev and master so let me refresh this once again and here you can see master dev option so we just created our two branches so now as i mentioned that i will show you some steps related to the permission if you have uh, in future if you suppose to create uh, any qa environment so for that you have to create qa branches and i will show you the permission section that who can push to these branches and how you can restrict it so for that go to the repo uh, settings uh, at the top top left bottom and here you should go to the repository section and here you will uh, get lots of options from that you can go to the branch default so here you can make your default branch which will be your default branch so right now in our our uh, case it is a master which what we want so you, uh, if you want to change this to dev you can change it to dev click just select dev and save changes and it will be uh, changed to the dev and your dev branch will be the default branch the second step which is a branch protected branches so here you can protect your branch and here you can manage the access the basic level of access so in my case my master branch is protected and only maintainer can push to this branch allowed to merge only master and only maintainer can merge this branch allowed to push and merge so only maintainer can allow to push and merge this and here if you wish you can uh, turn this on so you can force push to this master branch so same as we will make our dev branch also protected so click on this add protected branch and here you need to select your branch select dev and here you will see three options who can push allowed to merge who can merge to this branch so developer plus maintainer maintainer and no one so here in for dev we are going to select developer developers plus maintainer allowed to push and merge the same developer and maintainer just for production level branches we are going to give access to the maintainer and here you can allow the force push and just click on this protect so now your both branches are added and protected so we have successfully created our gitlab project along with the required branches and all we have also shown you how you can protect your branches how you can create default branches and how you can create branches from another branch so i hope this video uh, have given something to you and uh, you learned from this video so in the next section what we are going to do is we will install gitlab runner onto our server which we have created previously and we will perform the ci cd task over there so make sure if you haven't subscribed to our channel you can subscribe to this channel for this kind of amazing videos if you find this video helpful you can like this and you can share this with your colleagues and your friends so see you in the next videos thanks for watching